This is the part where my clothes would shoot off. I'd be all naked and there'd be a little flappy thing right between flappy thing between my legs, a little flap of, of cloth between my legs and then suddenly I'd burst and there'd be a huge, cool, crazy, weird outfit where I'd be like part mecha. Yeah! Hello there, it's Alex and we're gonna do another anime review and this time we're gonna do Kill La Kill. Kill La Kill is an anime about Ryuko Matoi who tries to track down her father's killer who used a giant like half pair of scissor sword kind of thing to kill her father and she tracks this person down to Hanauji Academy and it's probably Satsuki? Satsuka? Can't remember names, I'm really bad at that. But because she runs the academy, she is the class president, and she's basically leading this giant army uh, of people wearing Goku unicorn, unicorns, Goku unicorns, to take over the country. So it's a tale of revenge, and I got through six episodes before I decided I want to do the review. It's something that I'm probably going to continue watching because it's real fun. So the first time Ryuko shows up to this school, she gets her ass handed to her, and uh, realizes that she's weak and she has really no chance of taking these people on unless she has something else. So she goes back, I can't really remember what even brings her back to her old home, but she goes back to her old home, she falls into a secret laboratory that her dad ran and comes across a Kamui, which is a godlike outfit, which in her case it looks like a Sailor Scout uniform. Um, that gives you like super strength and power and all this stuff and it's made out of 100 percent uh life fibers which the goku uniforms that the students wear at the academy are made of 10 percent life fibers 20 percent life fibers 30 percent depending on how many stars the uniform is so one star 10 percent two star 20 percent all that which gives them extra powers or special abilities, all that kind of shit. She finds this uniform, it's sentient, it bonds with her, they become friends, it runs off her blood, so the more she uses it, you know, she's gonna pass out from blood loss and all that stuff, and that's why she can't constantly just be like, Hurr! She finds this suit, she bonds with it, and it's about her becoming one with this suit to fight who she thinks killed her father. So far, I've liked all the characters that have been in the show. There's Ryoko, she's just sort of like the, the badass, anti-social, I'm gonna go smoke and, and do crazy things kind of girl. And then there's her friend, the only like normal friend that she has, which is the, the moe, kind of doughy, do ditzy, dorky, always getting in trouble girl, who's just innocent and super nice and all that. And her little brother, who's just this awesome, pervy little kid, who runs a gang and all this stuff, and their dog. Their dog is the coolest thing ever, and I want that dog and their crazy family. And then there's the bad guys, which so far, all the bad guys have been pretty entertaining. They all, they all have powers based on what club they're in in the school, so the gardening guy could make these giant plants pop up. The tennis girl like could hit bajillions of tennis balls with his racket, and, and the boxing guy had these big metal crazy boxing gloves, and, and it's cool. It has a lot of variety. It's an action anime, obviously, so I love that. Me and action animes are good friends. But yeah, all the, all the characters are really cool. The president, the girl, she is just like the cold stoic. I'm going to rule the world, super cool chick, and yeah, so the characters are all fun, they're all very like, tropey, like, you know, but that's okay, I'm fine with that. But what I really love about this anime is the art style, it is freaking awesome, it's not like your typical, almost sterile kind of art style that you see a lot these days whenever it comes to anime. It's really its own kind of thing. It's sort of rough around the edges. It has a lot of like just still shots where it just zooms in because it's, it almost looks like a flyer that you would get for a, a show, for like a punk show or a rock show. And that's, that's what I get from this anime is it's real punky, it's sort of rebellious and it's just like high energy fun. And that's awesome. 
The soundtrack is, is much the same. It has a lot of upbeat kind of rocking sort of stuff going on because that's what it's going for. It is going for almost a tank girl like rebellious punk attitude and it shines in all aspects of it from the art and sound to just the storyline or just I guess the moral of the show is to embrace who you are and not let anybody judge you based on your outward appearance or your interests or anything like that. And that's the cool thing about this anime that I really like is it actually has this moral story behind it that's a little bit more accessible to the rest of the world. It's just, it's a show about embracing who you are and being comfortable in who you are and putting yourself out there as you instead of as somebody that you want people to think you are. Just be yourself is the core of this show and I love that. It's a great lesson and mix it with the high energy, the awesome fighting, the fights in this are so cool and it's just, it, it doesn't define itself by just being like this type of action or this kind of thing. Like there's some sports stuff, there's a guy turns into a giant mecha thing and starts attacking her and it's just, it's awesome and it's frantic and it's fun. You should check it out. It's worth watching. I'm gonna continue watching it because it is so fast paced and kind of crazy and that's what I like. Uh, yeah, just check out Kill a Kill if you're looking for something that's not serious, something that's fun, something that's high energy. If you want a little raciness because there's a lot of nudity in this even though it doesn't ever show anything in particular. It is very, very risque and racy and some would say almost offensive, but I think it goes with the format of the show being kind of rebellious and punky. And it doesn't just glorify the women. There are plenty of beefcake naked dudes in the show too. So all encompassing nudity without being nude because it's that kind of like blank look thing going on. But yeah, if you're looking for just a, a fun, not overly serious, high energy, high action anime, this is it. Don't take your life seriously. Just enjoy it, embrace it, be yourselves, have fun. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Watch some Kill a Kill. I'm going to be doing another anime next week on Wednesday. All right. Thank you. Bye.